Hi, my name is Edward Thompson. I'm a program manager at Microsoft working on Azure DevOps. And today, I'd like to introduce you to some new integration between GitHub and Azure Boards. If you use GitHub to manage your source, but you want an advanced work item tracking experience that allows you to plan your work, manage tasks, and track bugs, this new integration might be perfect for you. That's because Azure Boards provides Kanban boards, backlogs, team dashboards, and custom reporting. And now it has tight integration with GitHub pull requests. Let's take a look. Here I have my GitHub repository, and it contains the code for my application, but it only contains the code. I don't use GitHub issues to manage my work. Instead, I use Azure Boards. Let's open that up. And here you can see my work items in a sprint backlog. If I look over on the right hand side, you can see that I'm in sprint number two and that there are six work items that my team has planned to tackle this sprint. So this gives me a nice overview of everything that's going on in the current sprint. There's another visualization though that I quite like and that's called a Kanban board and I can get to that on the left hand side by selecting boards. Now, this is the same work item data, but it's just a different visualization. Here I've just got three columns where I can manage my work in progress. The first column on the left is to do. That's where the work that my team plans to work on lives. Once I start working on one of these work items, it goes into the doing column. And of course, once the work is actually done, it moves into the done column. So this gives me a really nice way for me to visualize exactly what my team plans to work on, what everybody is currently doing, and what's done for my team. So I find this incredibly useful, but what I really want is to be able to link these work items to pull requests within GitHub. And now I can. So what I want to do is go down here to Project Settings. And then I want to click GitHub Connections. That's right under Boards. That's what will let me connect my GitHub repository to uh, an Azure Boards subscription. There we go. And then I just need to click to connect my GitHub account. And this will prompt you for your GitHub username and password unless you've already authenticated your Azure DevOps account to GitHub. And I have because I've set up Azure pipelines for continuous integration builds and tests in my GitHub repository. So what I need to do now is select the GitHub repository that I'd like to link to Azure boards. Uh, I can select this from this list or I can just go ahead and type it in. And that's what I'll do instead of trying to navigate through that list of repositories. And then I'll click Save. And what that does is it will set up webhooks in GitHub that go to Azure Boards. So every time I create a pull request or comment on a pull request, Azure Boards will be notified. And that's what allows the linking between that pull request and a work item to occur. So, once that's set up, I want to actually get started working on a work item. And I'll go through the process, creating a pull request, and linking it to that work item. So, let me go back to my boards. And I want to just take the first work item, the top work item in the to-do column. That's work item number six. And the first thing that I want to do is assign it to myself. So I'll pop this down uh, and click, and then I'll get a list of my team. I'll just select myself. And now my team knows that I'm going to be the one working on this work item. I also want to drag it into the doing column from the to do column. Now what I want to do is actually write some code and fix this bug. 
I've actually already done this on this computer here. So what I can do is just push that branch with my code change up to GitHub. And now what I want to do is start the pull request process. So I want to leave Azure Boards and go to github.com and open up my repository there. And when I do, the first thing that you notice is this yellow box. It's in the, the middle of the display. It's telling me that I've just pushed up a branch and it's prompting me to start a pull request. And that's exactly what I want to do. So I'll just slide over and click the compare and pull request button. And now the new pull request screen is where I'm given the opportunity to link this pull request to Azure Boards. What I want to do is go into the comments area and I want to use what's called a smart mention. And that is what Azure Boards actually looks for to understand how to link a pull request to a work item. So what I want to do is type fixes AB number six. AB number six, of course, means Azure Boards work item number six. That was the one that I moved from the to-do column into the doing column. Okay, now I want to scroll down and click create pull request. And now that the pull request is created, two things have actually happened. The first thing is that a continuous integration build has been started. That's because I already set up Azure Pipelines as a continuous integration build provider. So it's queued to build and it'll run my unit tests. The other thing that's happened is that Azure Boards has actually changed that smart mention that I made into a hyperlink. So you can see it's blue and underlined. Let's click on it. That'll actually take us to the work item in Azure Boards. Now, it's great that I can get right from the pull request to the work item in Azure Boards because that will allow people who are reviewing my pull request to go right to the work item and get a better understanding of the requirements, the reasons that I'm making these changes. They can look at the bug or the task, the actual information that describes the issue, as well as the code in GitHub that fixes the issue. Of course, this linking goes both ways. You can see over on the right-hand side of this work item, a link back to the pull request. So let's actually click on that to go back to the PR. And now what we want to do is actually review the code. So we'll go to the Files Change tab and take a look at the changes that were introduced to fix this issue. Those look good to me. The other thing that I want to do, besides reviewing the code, is to actually look at the continuous integration data. I want to look at the checks that GitHub ran when I opened this pull request. And so I can look here in the checks area, in the center of the screen, I can expand that to show all checks. That will give me information about what ran. I can click on details to get more information about the execution. So the GitHub checks area will give me a summary of what happened. I can see the a build ran uh, and succeeded with one warning. I can also scroll down and get a little bit of information about the tests and the code coverage. But what I really want to do here is click on Azure Pipelines because that will give me much richer information about the build that ran and the tests. So I could look at any of those build steps. I could actually expand that and look at line by line the build output. I can also go up here to the Tests tab and look at the unit tests that ran as part of this build, and I can go to the Code Coverage tab and look at that information. That's the code coverage that my unit tests are running. So now I've done a code review, I've looked at the build output, evaluated the tests, and now I'm confident about these changes. So I'm ready to merge my pull request. So I want to go back to GitHub go back to the conversation tab. Now, before I actually do this merge, I want to open up Azure Boards side by side. And let's get a little more room. I want to shrink the Azure DevOps sidebar and scroll over so that you can see both the doing and the done column. 
And this is incredibly important because I want you to watch work item number six. I want you to see exactly how tight this integration is when I merge the pull request. Let me uh, scroll down, okay? And when I click merge and then confirm, watch that work item. It moved itself. So Azure Boards is listening for these webhooks that it configured in GitHub. And since we used that smart mention that said fixes AB number six, when Azure Boards was notified of that change, it knew that since the work item was fixed, it could move it out of the doing column and into the done column. And it does that automatically. So you're able to get this really tight integration between GitHub and Azure Boards. If you'd like more information about Azure Boards, visit azure.com slash boards. And for more information about the rest of the Azure DevOps family of development tools, visit azure.com slash DevOps. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great build conference.